On July 30th, something remarkable happened. That was the day that NASA's Mars Exploration Program launched the Perseverance rover and the Ingenuity helicopter drone. These two machines were launched into space and were expected to touch down on Mars in about six months. And of course, it was a one-way trip. Today on Super Freaky Science, we'll be taking a long and hard look at the Perseverance rover, when it will land on the red planet, and what it hopes to achieve. What is the Perseverance and why Perseverance? First off, what is the Perseverance rover and why was it named that? There must surely be a reason, right? Well, first off, Perseverance is a rover sent to Mars to investigate the red planet's environment. This rover isn't the first of its kind. That honour goes to the Sojourner rover, a car-sized rover that was made to investigate Mars as well. The Perseverance rover is the fourth rover of its kind to be deployed by NASA. Other Mars rovers that have been sent to the red planet include the Spirit rover, the Opportunity rover and the Curiosity rover. Since Perseverance rover is the fourth of its kind, NASA engineers have pretty much perfected building rovers technology. There are fewer variables to calculate for and the experience in building and deploying other rovers means that the likelihood of Perseverance rover failing is rather low. So why Perseverance? Why not something corny like Dream Star 007 or Mars Attacker 112 or something like that? Well, NASA generally doesn't name its rovers. In fact, NASA has never named any of its rovers. Instead, it organises an essay contest for students and then selects the best essay and the name for the rover. That was the same thing done for the Sojourner rover and it was done for the Spirit, Opportunity and Curiosity rovers as well. The story is the same for Perseverance rover. NASA announced a student naming contest and Perseverance was announced as the winning name about three months before the launch of the rover. That's how it got its name. The design of Perseverance The rover was designed with the help from the team that designed the Curiosity because both rovers are quite similar. The engineers redesigned the Perseverance wheels to be more robust than the Curiosity wheels, which have now gotten a bit damaged. The wheels on the rover are thicker and more durable than the ones on the Curiosity too. Additionally, they are covered with cleat for traction and curved titanium spokes for springy support. Since the Perseverance has a larger instrument suite, it's heavier than the Curiosity by about 14%. The rover is powered by a multi-mission radioisotope thermoelectric generator that weighs about 99 pounds. The generator uses about 11 pounds of plutonium dioxide as the source of the heat that it converts to electricity. Two lithium-ion batteries are also included to help meet demand during the peak of rover activities. The multi-mission radioisotope thermoelectric generator was chosen as a source of power by NASA because, unlike solar power, it helps engineers operate the rover's instruments at night, during storms and winter. It also has a 14-year operational life. The Perseverance will be travelling with a Mars helicopter experiment named the Ingenuity. The Ingenuity will be strapped to the underbelly of the Perseverance and, once on Mars, will be tested for flight stability and potential to scout the best driving routes for the rover over 30 days. After the landing of the Perseverance, the Ingenuity will detach and fly into the skies of Mars. If successful, this will mark the first ever flights by a rotocraft beyond Earth. If the mission of Ingenuity proves to be successful, Future Mars missions will have helicopters like Ingenuity strapped to them. What part of Mars will the rover land in? It may surprise you to learn this, but we already know a lot of things about Mars. We've mapped out almost all of its craters, hills, mountains and depressions, and we've given them names as well. This was possible through the taking of thousands and thousands of photographs. So we aren't just sending the Perseverance to a random place on the planet, we are sending it to a place named the Jezero Crater. The crater has a diameter of about 49 kilometers and is thought by scientists to have once been flooded with water. The word Jezero itself means lake in several Slavic languages. 
Since the crater used to be a lake, it's easy to see why it was named in this manner. But why the Jezero Crater? The answer is straightforward. Scientists believe that life may have developed in the crater since the lake was almost undoubtedly long-lived. Additionally, clay minerals have been detected in and around the crater. Since clay forms in the presence of water, it's postulated that the area may have held life in ancient times. Interestingly, scientists believe that the crater has been filled with water at least two different times. That means there was once a time where the crater was empty, as it is now. And after that time, it got filled again with water. Craters like this, scientists say, often have evidence of life. Geologists especially believe that examining places where water once ponded is the easiest way to find signs of life. Since the Perseverance rover's main mission is to investigate signs of life on the Red Planet, it only made sense to send the rover to the crater. What will the rover do when it gets to the crater? The goal of the Perseverance rover can be explained in four words. Find signs of life. Even though that's only four words, it's way more complex than you'd imagine. Upon getting to the Red Planet, the rover is expected to investigate astrobiologically relevant environments and investigate its surface's geological processes. It will also be expected to assess its past habitability and the possibility of life on the planet and potential for preservation of biosignatures within accessible geological minerals. On Earth, more tests and analysis can be done on it, and we're sure to learn more information from it as well. But there is one problem with this idea. NASA has never attempted a Mars return mission. All Mars missions that have been carried out have been one-way trips, and it will take an extraordinary leap in the technology we have today to change that reality. Built in 2015, the concept for a return mission was expanded upon. They decided that they would collect even more samples from the planet and develop viable plans to get the samples from Mars sometime in the future. Sample Return Mission Originally, sample return wasn't a vital aspect of the Perseverance mission, but as time went on and development proceeded, it became a key objective. Soon, NASA decided that a key mission requirement of the Perseverance rover is that it must help NASA prepare for its Mars sample return mission. This mission, NASA says, is needed before any crewed mission can even be contemplated. The sample return mission would require at least three additional vehicles, an orbiter, a fetch rover, and a Mars ascent vehicle. The rover would collect about 20 to 30 drilled samples, and the samples will be left on the surface of the Red Planet for possible collection by NASA. The fetch rover would collect the sample caches and then deliver them to an ascent vehicle. The Mars Ascent Vehicle would then launch from Mars and enter a 500km orbit and rendezvous with the next Mars Orbiter or Earth Return Orbiter. After that, the sample container would then be transferred to an Earth Entry Vehicle, which would then bring it to Earth, enter the atmosphere under a parachute, and hard land for retrieval and analysis in specially designed safe laboratories. When will the rover arrive at Mars? According to NASA's calculations, the rover will touch down on Mars in less than 100 days. The six-and-a-half-month journey that began at the end of July will soon come to an end. The Perseverance will employ the landing strategy used by its predecessor, the Curiosity rover. It will be lowered to the surface of the planet by a rocket-powered sky crane, and then the crane will fly off and crash land somewhere else. Ever since we landed the first rover on Mars, we've been trying to figure out if Mars can be habitable for human beings. The mission of Perseverance will bring us a little closer to answering this question completely. It's indeed an exciting time for human beings all over the planet. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like and subscribe button. Also, try to subscribe to the channel. Goodbye, remember to stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.